today I'm going to be playing the silent age a game that is on some Android devices I don't know if all Android devices have the same type of app store not the same access to every other to every app that is also on the Android app store and I actually have no clue whatsoever if it's on any Apple devices. But it seems fun, so you should probably go and play it. But of course, you should uh, watch this video to see if it looks fun to you. At least part of it. And now it's 1972. The present. Walk to note. Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you. Frank. Who's Frank? Walk to Broken Night Group. Okay, so it's touch to interact. I'm assuming I can. Nope. Okay. So, now that I figured that out, I am going to. What's this? Okay, new access card. Wait, no. Uh, can I take the tennis racket? Okay. Mm. I, I probably cannot interact with the barrel. Move one. What? Where did the car go? Modern art. Into it must be French. I'm kind of almost afraid of calling it a square piece. It's obvious. Some obviously something deeper, but that's what it looks like to me. I didn't see the last part. Try to read. The gestalt of Saturn field. This looks like a couple of colored boxes to me. Maybe it's one of those stenograms. If I look hard enough, I might see just Apple and Saturn. Nope, it's still boxes, and now my eyes hurt. I don't really want to freak her out. I like my job. Came as audio. What the man of sugar can't touch your tongue? Just get your hind knee. Okay, so double tap to sprint, I guess. Or wait, how did I do that? Did I double tap? Okay, I double tapped. I have no idea what this graph represents. Whatever it is, it seems to be going well. I've never been one for height, but behind these thick panes of glass, I can sort of appreciate the view. Even the ashtray looks expensive. You can usually tell success by the amount of bones people keep on their desks. I don't have a desk. That sucks. 
I'm gonna touch my boss with whatever glove. Not now, not ever. Oh, promotion. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pay raise in this. Pay raise. This is awesome. Well, a promotion. I wonder what my new salary is gonna be. I wonder what my salary is now. Ah. Freaking alarm sirens. Him say something about not giving me pay raise? Nope, I'm gonna scrap him. I am sure you have a lot of important work to attend to in your new position, son. Your raise to clearance promotion will give you access to privilege. Yes, Mr. Hill. You didn't get paid that anymore, though. It's not even really a promotion. Pretty sure he just said you could uh, do more work for the same amount of money you had before. Silver key. Okay. Level two. Hat. Wait, what's that stuff right there? Hmm. No, wait, more blood. Any key? It does look kind of serious. Maybe I need to go over here. Hmm. I see the containers, but I didn't see any tubes. It almost looks like coffins in there. Rows and rows of coffins. Okay, you're being paranoid, Joe. No more Twilight Zone and coffee after midnight. Ooh. Hmm, yeah. This takes place like way back when, doesn't it? What happens if I use my rubber glove? For a second there, I felt just like Dr. I didn't hear. Or see. Wait. Weird. My hat is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspection repairs being done today. I could just press the button. Come on. 
come on, you used it to press a button downstairs, didn't you? could just walk in, but you could also walk in with the rubber glove on. Let's probably get a mop instead. Oh. I'm sorry, Jay. Oh, but I didn't think you have a mop. Wait. No pressing the button while wearing a rubber glove? No, pressing the button while wearing a glove did not make me open that. Engineer. Okay, that's a lot of blood. Hmm. I bet you where you should keep away from that. Wait, no, pick up the coat. What is this? Handkerchief. And note to self, don't touch anything. Okay, Joe, this isn't your photos. I found you got it. Just back away, so. What's this? Oh, that's kind of cool. Is this what the handkerchief is for? Yes, it is. I'm not gonna comment on how you thought about using a bloody handkerchief with a tinfoil hat. Why can't I pick up the tinfoil hat though? Okay. Oh, she forgot her name. Did she have a name? Um, Miss Goulette. Miss Goulette, yeah. Oh, Joe, you idiot. Okay, maybe it's just antisocial. Very antisocial, that is. I like your mustache, Joe. Go show her, Joe. Wait, is her first name Gloria? Does that mean her initials are GT? Can I go to talk to Mr. Hill? Nope. Talk to you again. Okay. I wouldn't say I'm clumsy, but I tend to earn my fair share of cuts and bruises at work, so I'd better keep it clean in case. Okay. Can you use it with the random blood? Like what? 
I use with that? Oh no. Can I use with this? What about this over here? Okay. It's actually kind of smart. Forget about the man that's probably dying or something. Yes, you do. Let's <laughs> find the injured man. Who is this man? Who is this man? Wait, is he a clone? He must be a clone or something. His voice sounds... His voice is awesome. I don't know, I forgot the company that made this game. I'm going to go to look in the app store. Find out after I complete it. Wait, a time traveling clone? Oh no, he's talking about his past self, isn't he? Who's that, I wonder? Was it could possibly be Frank? Could this man be Frank? But in the future? Wait, could he be me in the future? Oh, portal gun. No, portal gun. Oh, a portable time machine. Wait, is he dead? Wait, no, I can't move. Where are you going? Oh, is this a cutscene? Can you use your time machine now? You can't really blame him, I suppose. I mean, you do look incredibly suspicious right now. You literally just ran out of a room with a dead man. And that was chapter two, I suppose.
If you'd like me to play more, just comment that you would. Because if you do, then I will play this game's chapter 2 called The Future. Good mind. Please comment if you want to see more. If you don't, and then comment you don't want to see more. If you don't care, then you don't really have to comment unless you want to. And that was it for this video, and goodbye.